What's going on guys, it's Shu here, bringing you a, another review on Science of Bell Love, so I tried to prove it. This, is a, this series, I gotta say, has been very interesting. Like we had seen in the last episode, things started getting resolved for both Himaru and Yukimura. But now, all I care about is Kanade, and they're doing a great job, in my opinion, getting to know her a little bit more like something is definitely wrong with Kanade. it may not be as deep as it may seem but i am really wanting to know more about her a curiosity that i think is what is still holding me to this series like no one else in the show is something that i'm intrigued about so much as much as i am about Kanade. like there is no person that she has been like infatuated with other than her sensei and that's exactly who she runs into today like this is a heck of a episode in my opinion because we see her for the first time and i'm sorry that i'm really jumping into this but it's just that to me this was important like she goes on a date for the first time and who knows how long with the other guy whose name i can't even remember you know, she you know wasn't even sure about how to feel about it but she was willing to give it a chance and throughout the entire time obviously you know she had to deal with the nonsense of yukimura and himaru like having all the other couples in there but she was still uneasy and it wasn't even because of that she can understand that she understands why they're there it's part of their experiment and the whole kind of they love concept that they were creating but she was uneasy because she was like am i acting normal am i myself is this okay you know all these things that were bothering her uh, in a date and i felt like that was very very real uh, you know a lot of times you know when we're love hurt you know we're hurt pretty badly heartbroken you know things like that you know are, are you, you start questioning you start wondering you know is this right you know am i doing things wrong is something that i did say or didn't do all these, all these questions just kind of pop in and I don't know if I personally resonate with this, but it's just something that I can understand. And yes, we did have, you know, funny moments in this episode. Don't get me wrong. We had Kosuke with his um, Ibarata figure, basically. We had Chris and Sui, you know, bickering a little bit. And then them getting together, you know, again, like, he felt like she was seeing him as a pet. Himaru, at the end of the episode, was all lovey-dovey with him, with Yukimura and you know she was wanting that and we also see uh, this new couple you know they uh, you know aren't as interesting in my opinion but we see that they are uh, you know kind of a new couple that we see developing you know it's one of those you know I don't want to say Sundarae's because I don't really care maybe she is but she's mean and angry which she doesn't want to she just acts that way but you know she comes around him towards the end and you know he sees her with a lot of respect but that's just everyone else Kanade runs into the sensei in this episode and she is just you know completely changes her demeanor for the remaindering of the episode so something had to have gone down at that point and we still don't fully see it or don't understand that has upset her so much uh, to not fall in love so whatever that is i'm curious to know because from then on out you know she was kind of like trying to be composed and natural but it it just wasn't right and then towards the end when we see that after everyone else is kind of having the moment you know we see how the guy even asked you know Are you okay you just weren't acting yourself you weren't acting normal and that basically triggered her she basically said thank you good night i'm going home and she was the only one out of everyone else that was like basically going home empty-handed and that was something that to me was like a red flag and this is something that he, both himaru and yukimura both saw so with the fact that the word that word normal triggered her along with seeing her sensei to, like, after who, who knows how long you know it has been something that has been pestering her since then and you know it's a long time uh, she you know we see the reaction of both of them so i'm hoping they're concerned and wanting to know what happened so i'm hoping that in the next episode we get that explanation that we really need as to what triggered her to be in this way you know very i want to say 
the afraid of having a relationship with someone. It has to do with sensei in some way. So we'll have to see. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like. Comment below your thoughts. I'd love to know what you guys think. And as always, though, and most importantly, stay safe. And I will catch you later.